What's going on guys and according to my YouTube insight 5% girls my name is Tetra Ninja and this is a TDM on the map jungle and the reason why we had a countdown right there is because we actually went into host migration the other team decided to leave when the score was only about 200 to 200 for some odd reason I'm using the also oh difficult weapon in this game loved by all in this community the AK-74U and before you flame me too hard because in my past videos I have told you guys that I've actually sworn off using this weapon. This game, uh, gameplay is actually pretty old and the only reason I'm actually using it is because there was a contract going at the time. I think it was called AK-74U Phenom and personally I myself am a sucker for contracts. I think it gave you about 1500 EXP and you can't really get any bit easier than a contract with that. I think you had to get 75 kills with it. So uh, like I said, sucker for contracts, that's why I'm using it. Don't flame me too hard. And I'm using it with rapid fire, which is the only way I use this weapon. I don't find that the Warlord perk combined with the grip attachment is that useful. I find that I can just use it just as well with the rapid fire by itself. And that's a pretty good placement spot for a claymore right there, right behind the bushes. <laughs> really can't get any better than that. And I'm just going to use the majority of this video to give you guys my final thoughts on this weapon. And I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket. And I'm going to straight out say it. I personally do not think that the AK-74U is as overpowered as everyone thinks. I think it's overused because most likely if you enter any type of gameplay, especially SND, you're going to run into it. But if you guys watched my MP5K versus AK-74 video that went up on, on Respawn a couple of weeks ago, you know that the only difference between this weapon and the MP5K is that it has better iron sights and the recoil is slightly more manageable. And if you can get over the iron sights, then in my opinion, they become exactly the same weapon. That's why I have no troubles going using this weapon as well as the MP5K and, MP5K and just doing just as well. And in terms of how what it, I would think that they should adjust this weapon if they want to balance it out at all, uh, there are a lot of rumors or suggestions saying that they should drop down the clip size to 20 rounds. But in my opinion, that doesn't make any sense at all because if people aren't using this weapon, then they'll just transfer over to either using the FAMAS or the AUG. And then we'll all be complaining about those two weapons. I think <laughs> this community especially, we just, as a community as a whole, we all like just complaining about something. Obviously Modern Warfare 2, we had a whole lot to complain about. And in this game, it just seems like the topics that everyone likes to discuss is either Ghost or the AK-74U. But just back on the topic of the AUG and the FAMAS, I personally truly believe that those two assault rifles are actually a lot more overpowered than the 74U is uh, for a variety of reasons. First of all, they're a lot more versatile. You can actually throw a silencer on those guns and do reasonably well. A 74U suppressor just is stupid in my opinion. There's really no point to it. As well, both those assault rifles have submachine gun fire rates, which are ridiculous for the class. They fire at 937.5 rounds per minute, opposed to the 74U that only fires at 750 rounds per minute. Obviously, if you throw a rapid fire on that, like I am, it increases to 1,000 rounds per minute. But I think that's a, not that big of a deal, especially like in all submachine guns in this game, you can't use them at, at reasonably long ranges. You have to either stay close to medium range. And even though up close it is kind of a shotgun, uh, at long ranges you really don't want to even bother unless you're shooting it at an enemy that doesn't even know you're there. If you're going heads up with a person with an assault rifle, long to medium range and they go heads up one on one and they know that you're there, you're going to lose every single time unless you have mad hosts on the person. And mark my words guys, in a couple months when this game gets a little bit older and we're all done prestiging, we're all going to be on the asses of the G11 and we're going to be on Twitter and Facebook messaging D David Vondahar and saying that the game is broken because of this weapon. It's kind of a dirty little secret that not everyone knows as of right now, but if you watched my M16 versus G11 video, that thing has ridiculous fire rate for a 3 burst assault rifle, as well with the submachine gun hit fire rate. If you combine steady aim with it, it just becomes a laser that you can shoot medium to long range and you'll never have to aim down sight with it at all. So <laughs> I'm just telling you now, in a couple months, just watch out for the G11 once we're all done prestiging. 
And if you're going to ask me how I'd fix the 74U, even though I don't think it needs fixing, the only thing I would suggest is just bumping up the mag size on all the other submachine guns. So such as the Kipparis and the Scorpion with the 20 round mag size. You really can't kill any more than two people with that. But dropping down the 74U, even though it's not look, being looked upon at all by Triarch, is just stupid. Because everyone would just be using the MP5K with rapid fire. Or you'll just see a higher use of the AUG or the FAMAS. We'd find something to complain about, in all honesty. And the only thing that has been confirmed by Triarch that they're interested in looking at is just how the 74U behaves with its grip attachment and its center speed and its bullet grouping. And personally, that doesn't affect me at all because I don't use a grip on this weapon. I just use rapid fire. But yeah, those are my overall thoughts on it. Not overpowered, just overused. You're not an asshole if you use it, in my opinion. Maybe, well, maybe if you use Tiger Camo and have a Charmander emblem like some people. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Final score of this game is 40 and 1. And if you enjoyed the game, all I ask is that you just give it a quick rating. It just helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.